What kind of world and society do you have if you don't have a calendar? Well, we're doing that next on World Building. Hi everyone, it's JD again. In our last World Building video, we took a look at creating the planet. This time, we're going to be making the calendar. Now, they actually have a lot in common, and that is the equation that I shared last time. Of course, Earth's calendar would be pretty inadequate for another planet, right? I mean, not all planets have 365.25 day orbital periods. Not all of them have 24 hour days either. So we have to change things. And I guess with a new planet, we can just fudge with the length of the day, but the length of the year, we need to calculate. So we are coming back to this equation right here. I'm not going to go through it this time, what you need to do is check my previous video about world building, and that'll tell you all about it. We're going to be taking a look at the results from this. Uh, we are going to be looking at the star Beta Comi Berenices and my planet Ariadne for this. You probably don't remember the number, but last time we calculated 152,657,589 kilometers to be the radius of our planet's orbit. Now, we are going to be using this number again, and I'll show you what we're going to do. So, to determine the orbital period of a planet, we need three numbers, and they are the mass of the star, the orbital radius, and the mass of the planet. So, we are going to be using Kepler's third law to do this. I'm not going to be using an equation for this one. I used a tool on the internet called calctool.org. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description box below, so you can go there and use that. It'll just automatically do all the calculations for you. When I used this tool, I used the number that I gave before, the 152,657,589 kilometers as the semi-major axis. Now, the semi-major axis is half of the radius of the longest part of the orbit. So, you know, how an orbit is not a complete circle, it's kind of an ellipse. So we're looking at the long axis. That is where the semi-major axis is. And so the mass of the planet is 1.028 Earth masses. That's just what I figured out by myself. And the mass of Beta Comi Berenices is 1.15 times the mass of the Sun. So the results of this calculation are 0.961094 Earth years, or 351.046 days. That's a bit shorter than I expected, actually. The star is bigger, but I guess it does have a greater mass, so the orbit could be quicker. So here's what I did to make the calendar. So I took the number, uh, the 351.046 days, that is the orbital period of the planet, and I decided that the year is 351.1 Ariadne days. Now, this means that the day on Ariadne is shorter than Earth's day by a mere 13 seconds. Uh, so we don't really have to do much to adjust the, the clock. We can still have 24-hour clock, which is nice. So with this, I made a very interesting calendar. I decided it's going to have 12 months, just like on Earth. But this results in 29-day months plus an extra three I could have distributed those three days around the year, but I didn't. I decided to create a three-day month at the beginning of the year. This very brief month is going to be used as a holiday, so it is to celebrate the colonization of the planet. Now, to account for the extra 0.1 days, we have to create leap years, but they're only once every 10 years. So, for every 10th year, we have a four-day month, so that's an extra long holiday. Since the year is slightly shorter, people's ages will be a bit different. A 50-year-old on Earth would be 52 on Ariadne. It doesn't really make a really big difference, though. They will have to figure out a new birth date, though, which might be a bit interesting. They'll have to regress the calendar into the negative years to determine when their birthday is. As for when the calendar starts, it starts at day one, year one of the three-day month. A couple other things I have to determine, of course, are the names of the months. I haven't decided yet. And also, are we going to still have a seven-day week? We'll see. 
It's up to you. You can do whatever you like. You can have a six-day week, five-day week, eight-day week, ten-day week. It's up to you. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, if you have any suggestions for future topics for world building, please let me know as well. Coming up next time, we are going to be looking at map making. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see some more world building and book related videos, then please subscribe down there. Also check out those videos over there. We have the previous and the next world building videos and also the playlist. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video.